Hey, it's Joe Lines, and in this video, I'm going to document how you can um, easily toggle comments, uh, um, changing them to from block inline and block, and different different ways to do it, and enter and to insert them um, some nice um, text in there too. So I have a hot string. I don't recommend doing this in Studio, but um, I can do this and say just a test. But let's say I wanted that. You know, I'm going to copy this here. I wanted that also um, with Studio. You can hit Alt M. And then create comment, I think, there we go. And I'm gonna put it in one line and I'm gonna say characters of 45 and we'll leave it with the dashes, it's fine, and create it, and there it is, right? But let's say I wanted to have a multi-line comment to have more of a block code. This is just a test. Let's say if I put it here, um, actually, I'm, I, this might do it with a blank line there. There it goes. So see how it built that that block around it. So I think that's kind of cool. That it's great ways to uh, if you have a big script that you can when you're scrolling, it'll help you catch your eye. Um, so I like that. I can like I said, I can also change the um, symbol that's being used. So it's it's pretty cool and simple, um, simple to use. And uh, so that's that's one way you can work on inserting comments. Um, another way similar is to to track notes. Now the track notes. Are a little different. Um, you right click here, split control, let's do it to the right, and we're going to say track notes. Now, these notes, um, I can either have them global and they're for everything, or I think in here I can say add split control track file, track file, and then these notes would be specific to this file. They're not going to be grouped together anywhere, but they're just general notes that aren't actually included in your file. So let's say you worked on a project for somebody and you wanted to keep notes about the project, but you didn't want the client to see it, right? You could put them here and that way they're tied to the file, but just don't share the, um, you know, the actual text file. Cause I, I believe it saves it in the same directory. Right. Um, but, uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's the track notes. Let me, let me remove control. There we go. Um, the other th couple things I wanted to show you was the, um, toggling of, turning a line into a comment so let's say i wanted to comment this line i can now i changed it so i don't remember what the the actual hotkey was built into studio but for me i have it as control q is i think it had something to do with a j um i can i can comment a line out just toggling it hit it hit it once hit it against back i can have more than one line and do both right um another cool thing though like i it, again i could do all four of these um and then all four have that semicolon tilde not tilde um I forget what it's called, squiggly line. Uh, but the other thing, now notice I don't have everything, I think I can do this, I don't have everything highlighted. And if I hit Shift F1, it brings the entire thing um, you have into a block comment. And so that way it's just at the end. So it's a lot easier to read. Um, and then again, anywhere, so let's say I want, when I'm ready to uncomment it to bring it back in, I can hit Shift F1 again and it toggles it back to being actually in line with your code. So um, it's a super easy way. Honestly, I have a hard time hitting Shift F1, so um, I'll, I'll change that to something else that works better for me. But um, these are great ways to, to quickly, you know, add comma. And, and, you know, the more you annotate, the easier it is to come back later and edit your own work and help other people understand what you're doing. So I highly recommend annotating a lot and finding quick ways like this to add notes is really helpful. Cheers.